tight there, okay. <laughs> right. Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first ever YouTube video and I thought I'd um, start it with a haul. So I've bought an awful lot of things <laughs> over the last month. I think it, w it wasn't all in one go. Um, I'd say like a lot of this I bought like in March um, up until the end of like mid of March up to the end of March um, and then I was on a spending ban yeah it didn't last long for about a week I was meant to <laughs> I was meant to be on the spending ban until the end of April um, I'm filming this in the middle of April and there were a couple of bits that I bought during the spending ban um, but it meant I've got more to show you so um, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, so, the first brand I'm going to start with is my favourite brand, um, Abercrombie & Fitch. Um, so, I bought this really cute little um, mini dress. Let's just try and show you. Um, it's off the shoulder, um, a mini length with um, a zip and this is called smock. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to <laughs> flip the bird. Um, this smocking at the back, so it's nice and stretchy. I think it's poly. It's not linen. I don't think. I think it's cotton and polyester, but it feels really cool um, on the skin. And it's also got um, lining um, with it as well, so it's not really as see-through as you might think. Um, so what I really love about Abercrombie is that they do in most of their dresses like a petite, a regular and a tall um, and so when I did this order I bought both a regular and a tall just because I didn't know what length I needed they're a bit hit and miss in, in that sense like sometimes they do things a lot shorter than you think sometimes it's fine um, I ended up sending the regular one back um, and this one I kept which is the tall um, it kind of hits like mid thigh um, and this dress was, it was in an extra small, um, and it was £59, but I did buy this when they were doing a 20% off for members, so basically, um, you have to make an account with Abercrombie, don't check out as a guest, and every now and then, they will do, like, 20% off for members, um, so I got that, nice cute white dress for summer. Oh, um, you might notice like in this haul that a lot of the items are white. Um, I haven't really got a lot of white items in my wardrobe like pre this um, haul, but it's because I can't seem to keep like white items white. So like not just when I'm wearing them, um, I mean like when, you know when you're washing them, I don't really know how to keep them looking like they've just been bought from a shop so any tips would be great um but yeah anyway i bought that cute little dress in an extra small in the tool section um i also bought in a separate order these cute little shorts um from abercrombie um they are elasticated waist so you can just pull them on um i just back um yeah and then they've got pockets again they're lined so they're not as see-through as you might think um i tried them on when i was wearing like slightly darker pants and i mean you could kind of see the outline but you couldn't like see them so i mean i don't recommend wearing black pants with you know white pair of shorts but i'm just saying that um they're not as see-through as you might think um these i got in a size small um but i don't i don't know if it's because Abercrombie are an American brand but on their size chart a small is a size 10 and they are slightly too big for me um, because I'm usually a size 8 on the bottom but they didn't actually have any extra small or extra extra small left on their website so I just went with a small and to be fair like they fit I think they're meant to be high-waisted so they kind of fit like there instead of there but like the quality so much I'm just gonna keep them um, and when I bought these I actually bought um, this really cute like ruched crop top 
pink crop top um but i've sent that one back to exchange for a smaller size because i think i bought it in an extra small and it was far too big for my bust i'm a size six on top um and like when i bent over you can just see everything underneath so i sent that back but i would include a clip with both the top and these shorts together because i think I think they pair really nicely together. But yeah, I got the shorts and the shorts were £49. And because I've spent so much money in Abercrombie over the last couple of months, I actually had a £10 off voucher um, because you earn points on Abercrombie, which just entices you in really, doesn't it? Um, so I got those shorts um, and then obviously that top as well, but I didn't, don't have it with me because I sent it back. Um, and then this literally only came yesterday, um, but are you ready? I'm a little bit excited about this dress. I got this cute little um, white, I think they called it a white floral dress. So it's got again it's just a bit of me like square square neckline puffy sleeves it's just i think the reason well i know the reason why i bought it was because it gave me bridgerton vibes like i just love it and what gave me even more bridgerton vibes was the fact that the bodice don't know if you can see is like ruched but it's not like so you know a bodice usually is like up to up to your waist um this bodice um, it's just like your bust area, which is why it gave me um, Bridgerton vibes. I think there's a special name for it, but I don't really know what it's called. But yeah, again, really nice material. I think it is polyester though. Um, oh, I forgot to say that the shorts were a linen blend, so really nice and cool um, on the skin. But anyway, um, I got this and I think what hit the nail on the head for me to buy it apart from the Bridgeton vibes, was the fact that it's got pockets on the side, like, you can't really go wrong with pockets on the side on a dress. Um, so I got that with, um, not with a voucher, it was 20% off again on um, Abercrombie, um, so yeah I got that, it's really nice as well because it's got um, a smocked back. Um, so it's really stretchy, really comfortable, and yeah, you can eat as much as you want in this dress because obviously it's not a, it's not a fitted skirt. It's like, it's like a skater skirt. So I got that. I honestly cannot wait for summer to wear that. <laughs> the next brand that I bought from was um, a brand called Lounge Underwear. I don't. Before this year, I haven't really bought anything from Lounge Underwear. I'm more of a Victoria's Secret. Um, kind of gal um but I bought like an underwear set before Christmas and I really really loved it so I'm now obsessed um so I bought a couple of these bits um when they were doing their birth sixth birthday sale I think it was called um at the end of March um and to be honest most of the in fact all of the pieces I'm going to show you are lounge actual like lounge wear um, I'm not going to show you the um underwear bits that I bought because completely inappropriate um, but anyway, so the first thing I got was this cropped hoodie um, in a cream colour. I think, uh, yeah, I got it in an extra small. Um, it looks really cute and it's got um, the lounge branding on the front, but if you look, it's... Uh, like rubber um so yeah i got that um and i think it will pair really nicely with um these joggers that i also bought from lounge so these are also in an extra small um and i like the fact that it's got cuffed um hem on the bottom and then if you look really closely the drawstring looks literally looks like string or like rope um, and then they've got pockets on the side and then a pocket on the back. I'm not sure what you use this pocket for really, but it's big enough. I ran out of memory. Um, but anyway, yeah, 
not sure what you wear this put in the pocket but I think it's big enough for your phone and then on the side as well it's got white lounge branding on the side it's just really nice I think it will pair really nicely with that cream hoodie that I got and I think this might be my airport outfit when I go to Bali in the summer um, and then I also got another pair of joggers <laughs> I don't need any more joggers to be honest but I mean you, ca you can't go wrong with a pair like another pair of joggers and in my defense and I think this is my justification um, I have put a lot of my old clothes like either on the depot or I've given them to charity um, so I got another pair of joggers but they're these ones are slightly different to the last pair um, they're both an extra small but these ones um, have like I don't really know what it's called like this on the top on the on the hem is it the hem on the waistline um, they've got the drawstring but it's not in rope and then they've got the lounge banding um, on the top again pockets on the back and pockets on the side and then the um, cuffed hem at the bottom and they're both in a slim fit um, both an extra small I haven't worn them yet I've been saving them for this video and I think another reason why I've not worn them is because they're so soft on the inside and I just know that once I put them in the washing machine they're just not going to feel like brand new again how sad am I um, but yeah I got those and then speaking of Depop I have bought a couple of bits off of Depop from a couple of different sellers so the first item is this cute little crop top and I've been influenced by Freddie my love on YouTube she's literally like my style icon like just yeah she just I think she shares my love of pink and a lot of like my clothing choices are influenced by her and she first put this top um, in a vlog I think or maybe in a haul maybe her spring um, haul a couple of years ago but at the time I didn't really buy it because I didn't want to spend the money and then I saw it on Depop a couple of weeks ago um, from one of the sellers on there and I was like do you know what I'm just gonna buy it like this top is basically me in a top like again it's got the um, square neckline and the puff sleeves um, the previous sellers kept it in really nice condition as well um, and yeah I just I just love it I've really worn it already um, and it's originally from Zara in an extra small so yeah I got that um, from a separate seller a different seller sorry um, I got this white dress another white dress I know um, it's slightly thick it's slightly a thicker material um, to the Abercrombie one um, and is a bit more I say that the Abercrombie one's a bit more casual um, this one's a bit more like dressy um, because it's got boning down well I think well it's got boning down the side like the Abercrombie one but the difference is instead of being off shoulder it's got the puff sleeves that I love um, and the square neckline mini in length again um, and yeah there's not much else to say about this really I think I'd probably end up wearing this one I wouldn't take this one to Bali I don't think um, just because it's slightly thicker material I don't think it'll keep, keep me cool I'd probably get very sweaty uh, just check in how much memory I got left I'd probably get quite sweaty in this if I'm being honest um, so I'll probably wear this in the summer here in England because let's be honest our weather isn't going to be boiling hot and then the final thing from Depop I got were these shorts I know another pair of white shorts um, but they gave me Zimmerman vibes um, but <laughs> this makes me really sad they don't fit me um, because I think the seller, I don't know if it was my fault or it was the seller's um, for not really putting it in the description, I can't really remember. Um, but I think they were advertised as like a small, um, but they are most definitely a large, like they don't fit, they kind of, I put them on my waist and they kind of like drop down. Um, but I love them so much that I might pay for a tailor to take them in, 
um, because they give me cinnamon vibes and obviously I'm not going to pay I mean it, it breaks my heart to think about how much a pair of cinnamon shorts cost like I don't think I've got 300 400 pounds in the bank to, to spend on a pair of white shorts but I these are like amaz an amazing dupe for those cinnamon shorts because they've got obviously the scalloped hem at the top and um, on the bottom it's like darted um, down the front and on the back and it's got pockets as well and it's lined so they are literally the perfect dupe um, it's just unfortunately they don't fit so I might just I might just pay a tailor to take them in um, because I mean this is 100% like a Freddy kind of outfit and I was what re-watching some of her old vlogs um and she paired this crop top with her cinnamon shorts and i just think i'm not doing a very good job of um showing the outfit together but i just think they look they pair so nicely together so i might just pay a tailor to take them in i think but yeah i got those and then um The next item I actually got from Zara, like myself, I ordered them from Zara myself, um, and there's this cute little white top. I actually um, ordered a pair of white, like, mom jean kind of shorts, um, but I sent them back because I didn't even bother trying them on, um, It was and it was completely my fault for not checking the product description, but, like, the, the minute I opened them up, I'm going off on a tangent here, but... The minute I opened the packet, the shorts out of the packaging, and I went to try them on, their flies, instead of being a zip, were like buttons, and like who's actually got time to unbutton five buttons before they go for a wee? Like, I certainly don't, so I sent them straight back. Um, no, matter how, like, no matter how nice a pair of jeans or a pair of shorts are, if the flies aren't zips, I, I don't even bother, like, no, it's a no. But anyway, um, with that order, I bought this little crop top and again, square neckline um, and puffed sleeves, um, cropped in length, of course. Um, and this was 15 99 from Zara. And I got this in a small because they didn't actually do this um, in an extra small. But I think it's fine because the top bit, like the bodice bit is ribbed um and stretchy um and then the sleeves are made of like a blousy kind of material and the re the main reason why i bought it was this frill on the on the shoulders um it's actually made out of 100 percent cotton i think um i just find it fascinating that the sleeves are like um like a blousy material and then um the top like the actual top bit like on your body is ribbed um and it's also double lined as well so it's not really as see-through as you might think so I got that and they repair really nicely with um, these floral sh uh, shorts that I got from River Island a couple of years ago um, and I, but again not sure how I'm going to keep these white so it, in the wash so any tips would be great um, and then the final item of clothing I got was from Primark um, now I don't really buy from Primark a lot like unless it's from the homeware um because ugh, i'm gonna sound like such a snob but basically i prefer buying from like s somewhere like abercrombie or maybe like asos or topshop um just because the quality lasts a little bit longer um and yeah i'm, I'm doing a mud run in a couple of no next week and i don't have any clothes i want to ruin so I got these shorts to, to to do the run basically and to ruin. Um, they were three fifty in a small, so I got those. And then finally, finally, and then finally, um, in this haul, I actually well I got these back in February, but I'm going to show you anyway. Um, are these little pair of 
sliders, um, tan sliders from June, again from the recommendation of um, Freddie My Love on YouTube. Um, but the difference between the ones that she ordered or recommended was that these ones um, are heeled. I think they're two and a half inches high. Um, I mean, I haven't worn them out yet because it's not been summer, um, but they feel quite comfy purely because they are cushioned on the sole, well, throughout the shoe. And I just think with all the outfits that I've just shown you, they will look really, really nice um, with all the outfits because you can't really go wrong with tan sandals in the summer. Um, I got these in size five, but I cannot remember for the life of me how much I paid for them. I got them from um, the House of Fraser website. Um, but I think they were in a sale purely because I bought them in February um, because I was yearning for summer. Um, so I don't know if they're still on the website, but I'll have a little look and I might, I'll link them down below um, if I find them. Um, but yeah, I got, I got those and I think that brings us to the end of my video. So thank you so much for watching. Um, my first ever YouTube video. I'm really sorry if like the background changed and stuff because I do have you um, on top of my jewellery box on my bed so it's probably slightly s slanted so I'm gonna figure it out as it goes on um, but yeah thank you so much for watching and I hopefully will see you soon.